But get out there. Do stuff, guys. Do stuff. It's, it's the best. Uh, I'm actually proud to share with you that I have actually run the Los Angeles Marathon five years in a row, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And for me personally, the hardest thing about running five marathons is slipping it into every conversation. Because a lot of times, no one's even talking about marathons. <laughs> you just have to find a way, hover around the conversation pod, okay? Look for your moment, pick your shots, dovetail it, you gotta make it feel organic, everybody. Oh, your grandma just had a birthday? You know, I bet she's the picture of health, you know. I was the picture of health when I ran five marathons. Uh, also, please note, I did not say that I have completed five marathons. <laughs> Run and completed, they're two different words. Here's what happened. Here's the short version of the story. I, uh, I ran the first one and then I had to run the third one because of what happened the second one. <laughs> second one, I was at mile 25 and a half. I was 10 blocks from the finish line. I was feeling good. That is when I had a heat stroke. <laughs> I blacked out and I woke up in the back of an ambulance. And I swear to you tonight, dry bar comedy show, when I woke up, I thought I was being kidnapped. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has had that experience before. All I knew, I was running, I was feeling good. I didn't have the pinhole. I didn't have the woozy thing. It went from running to nothing. <laughs> and when I woke up, I was flat on my back. I was obviously being driven somewhere. <laughs> and this dude that I did not know, dressed in all dark clothing, was hovering a foot above my face. <laughs> hey, buddy. Looks like you're finally coming too. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> and I had never had this epiphany before until I was in this moment. But when people are trying to help you and people are trying to hurt you, they really say a lot of the same things. <laughs> Just try and relax. <laughs> Everything's gonna be just fine. Does anyone know where you are right now? I'm gonna have to cut your clothes off. <laughs> and that's what they did. They took the scissors, they cut my clothes off. They brought me into the ER. Uh, I had a core temperature of 104 degrees. My organs were stewing inside my body like a crock pot. <laughs> so in order to bring my temperature down, they gave me four liters of iced saline that gave me the kind of diarrhea <laughs> that made a medical professional say, oh boy. She worked in the emergency room and she was horrified. It felt like she had seen less messy gunshot wounds. 
Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.